Everybody's dying to find out what's inside Santa's secret bag of gifts, myself included, because I have not yet opened it. Nor am I going to open it on this video until the very end. So if you want to see what's in that bag, stick around till the post credit scene. Dorklair! Welcome to another Dorklair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Figura Obscura Father Christmas from Four Horsemen Studios. And right off the bat, I want to give a huge shout out to Four Horsemen Studios for being so supportive of the Dorklair, for sending out this review sample, and just everything you've done for the community in general. Thank you very much for including me in this. So Figura Obscura is Four Horsemen Studios' line of classic folklore mythological type characters and they've done Krampus they've done the Headless Horseman and now we have Father Christmas and this is very much a Father Christmas rather than a Santa even though it's like the same guy Santa I think of as like the Coca-Cola Santa the jolly old elf um, that kind of a version this one's much more traditional I guess you know you got the purples and you have the embroidery in the hood rather than the hat and all these things. So this is definitely like a classic traditional Father Christmas type Santa figure, but it can definitely be Santa. It can be Kris Kringle. It can be whoever you want it to be because our imaginations are beautiful things. And just a couple initial impressions of this figure. This thing is all about the cloth goods. Like this robe is incredible. I just want to touch the thing. It's so soft and detailed. It is really nice. Uh, all about the accessories. You know, the figure underneath is a pretty basic Legion Builder 2.0 style elf body, but the overall package is really impressive, especially for the $60 price that it was. I believe as of the publication of this video, which should be on Krampus Knocked, funny enough, uh, on December 5th, I believe this is still available on their site if you want to try to pick it up. If you're watching this video a week or two later or after that, it's probably no longer available because these generally are sort of like exclusives. They're not sold like the rest of the Mythic Legions line. This is sort of its own thing. Anyway, that's enough chatter. Let's get into this review. And then here's a quick look at the packaging. And if you have Krampus, you know exactly what kind of box this is. It's got a magnetized separate backdrop that you can pull off. And I can show you the the back of that and then the side and inside of it has a little village scene pardon my lights there they're they're everywhere and then in and then in the box you have um a room scene so you have a fireplace and a christmas tree and you can pull that insert out if you want to do a little bit of a diorama type backdrop and then here's the box and all the beautiful artwork by nate barch just an incredibly beautiful packaging they also included a christmas card that they sold. It doesn't have anything on the inside, but it's got Father Christmas on the back. And then on the front, you have a nice glossy greeting card, Happy Holidays with Nate Barch art as well. Okay, zooming in here for a close-up of the details on the Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Saint Nick, Kris Kringle figure over here. And again, the highlight of this, you know, usually we talk about Mythic Legions, we talk about sculpt and paint, but now with these robes, it is all about the cloth. And there's a couple little pieces here. So this hood piece is one piece and then his robe is another piece. And then there's a third cloth piece under here that we'll kind of break down as we go. But then here's a look at the um, head sculpt right here. And the nice wired cloth allows you to have the hood draped backwards. And it, it comes with two head sculpts. And this one to me feels a little closer to like our current modern day Santa Claus, right? Like it's got the bushier beard. The other one has a long wizardly beard. And um, I do very much like this head sculpt. The eyes are nice and straight. They're painted well. And yeah, I think it's a great looking head sculpt. But really, yeah, the cloth goods are where it's at. We got a belt right here. That belt uh, latches in the back over there and yeah so then we have underneath we have a purple um it's like a robe underneath it's not just the it, initially i thought it was going to be just the loincloth like you see on mythic legions figures but this goes over the whole body and i'll pull that apart in a little bit but overall yeah this is an excellent looking 
Father Christmas Santa figure. All right, next, let's take a look at Father Christmas standing next to a few other figures so you can get a sense of his size. First up, a standard 1.0 and 2.0 Mythic Legions figures. On the left is Deltagar. On the right is Lucretia. Next, a couple holiday Mezco figures. On the left is Cousin Eddie. On the right is Gomez. And finally, we have a couple other familiar lines. On the left is a Masterverse Skeletor, and on the right is a Super 7 Ultimates Conan. For accessories, he comes with a whole bunch of stuff, including this alternate portrait right here. And it's got the longer beard, a much more wizard type look to it. And he comes with a pair of uh, holly crowns. And apparently the factory made double crowns, so they all came with two. They're not different, they're just, they came with two. So, same crown there. Fits perfectly on the head. Comes with the staff right here. And... That staff can come apart at this point, so you could do some swap in of parts if you have any parts that fit that. And you can hook this lantern on right here, and the lantern is nicely detailed. That thing looks like an old Victorian lantern or something. Really nice. Does not have any sort of LED or anything like that, just a decorative piece. He also comes with this bag with all sorts of toys sculpted into it. Drumsticks, teddy bear, nutcracker... Candy cane, a book. It's a nice little piece right there. Leather details. You can put it around his shoulder and have him hauling some toys around. It comes with this nicely detailed trumpet. I would be careful. It's very, very delicate, but it looks really cool. And then he's got this drum that actually has a chain, and you can hook this little piece onto his belt. He's got an elf doll right here, one solid static little piece. Comes with a Christmas tree too, and it comes with a little base here. Um, out of the box, the tree's stem is a little bit too long because they didn't actually make these. They, you know, they sourced these from some other maker of tiny Christmas trees. What I got to do is take that little wire piece and just get a pair of wire cutters and just like snip it down a little bit. And then that'll fit right into this piece. And it's a tight fit, but once you get it down in there, you can have it looking like a tree trunk. And of course he has this bag of presents which I'm not going to open yet. Like I said before, I'm going to open this at the very end of the video after my sign off. Okay, so now I'm going to do articulation and I'm going to leave the suit on so you can see the limitations that are just naturally uh, occur when you have a suit like this. Like for example, the head, you know, it can look up a little bit, but it's not going to look down much because that beard is like, there's just not a lot of space under there with the three layers of suit and then the beard and all that stuff. Uh, that limits things. The arm can swing up into a T. And of course, it can kind of go, you know, all the way around with the hinge and swivel at the shoulder. Single jointed elbow, his arm can come to, you know, just about 90 degrees there. There's a twist at the gauntlet. And there's a twist at the wrist. And there's a horizontal hinge at the wrist. The upper torso has articulation. It's on a ball joint on the upper torso. So that can rotate and kind of cock side to side. The waist is just a swivel, so you can twist at the waist. The leg can kick out this far. It can kick back quite a bit. He can go out into the splits. There's a twist at the top of the thigh. Single jointed knee comes to about 90 degrees. You can twist it at the knee as well. And then there's an ankle rocker for wider stances. His foot can point down and then back up. Next up, I'm going to do some part swaps and let's just kind of take the figure apart so that you can see what all it looks like and how it's assembled and what the cloth goods layering is here. So the head is on a ball joint and that would pop off just like this. And then this piece comes off here and it's, um, you know, it's like a hood and a cowl type piece with a little clasp right there that you can undo. Okay, so the hood is attached to this piece and I just love the feel of that material. And then um, we'll talk about the neck in a minute, but the belt pegs in on the back right there. Very easy, comes apart and goes back on. Super simply, super easy. And then there's a clasp at the front of the robe or the cloak right there. And so you can undo that and swing the arms back and pull this right off like this. It's just a lot of layering that bulks him out. And I think that's why they needed to go with a 2.0 body to be able to do like a Father Christmas, not a fat, jolly Santa, but to do like a 
sort of a normal sized human Santa. Um, that to build on top of it, they had to go with the smaller body. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but there are pockets and you can put toys and things in those pockets. And then here's what the underdressing looks like. It's got slits on the side for articulation, but it generally like is a tube that covers him up. Of note, there is no wiring in this piece. So there's no real posing this. And that's assembled with Velcro. And all you got to do is just undo the Velcro here. And you can get that off. And then, you know, like there's really nothing to write home about underneath. It's just a basic uh, Legion Builder body, except that it does have a conversion net peg that takes the 2.0 peg hole and converts it into a 1.0. So this head will be uh, usable on 1.0 figures or 2.0 figures if you want to just like swap the peg. And then you just have a basic Legion Builder elf type body. It's mostly brown. It's got gray down here. One of the nice features is the bare arms. Not a lot of figures have those bare arms. So that's a good customizer piece to get into circulation as well. Okay, first up, I wanted to see how some of this stuff looked on a 1.0 figure. So I grabbed a Petorian and then I added Artemis's like green skirt just to add a little more Christmassy flair to it. And I think this looks really good. Like this is a pretty awesome battle Santa, maybe a mythic legion Santa, if you will, rather than a figura obscura Santa. And then I thought I would do just a couple head swaps on this particular build just to see how it looks. Maybe try to find a younger Chris Kringle. Here's the Atlas head. And then here is the Magnus head on there. And then next up, I'm like super pumped for the Poxis wave. So I thought it would just like mash together a quick little wizard here. And I like those under robes for wizards. I like that they went with purple. They probably could have gone with green, but the purple is so good for wizard. And um, this is just a Palpatine cloak. I kind of reversed it to put the seam on the, on the front there. But otherwise, this is a Palpatine cloak and a Father Christmas. And here's an option to make like a king. I took King Bromden's crown and put it on the more wizardly looking head and then put it on Magnus's body. I think that looks cool. The crown doesn't quite fit very well though. So I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure about it. But overall, I think the look is pretty neat. And last but not least, the first thing I think of when I think 112th scale cloth goods is the 112 collective from mezco and who better than the christmas gomez to put these robes on and just get a cool santa looking gomez right here so anyway i'm very happy with this figure it's definitely like their biggest departure from legions so far in the figura obscura line but i think that's a good thing i think that this line needs to stand on its own it can't just be you know characters that could go with legions necessarily i think it's good to have its own um identity as an action figure line and the santa definitely sets it apart sets a new kind of bar for the line with all these beautiful cloth goods just an awesome piece thanks again to four horsemen for sending me this figure for review and until next time may the force be with you so uh yeah did you stick with me if you did and um and you want to see what's in the bag, I'm going to open the bag now. If you do not want to see what's in the bag, it is time for you to turn off this video. So I actually have not opened this yet, and I'm going to find out what's in here, and I'm probably going to regret saving it to the end, because who knows, it could be something I want to do part swaps with, and I just, I'm all out of time. It's not going to happen. All right, here we go. We are opening this bag up. Turn it off if you don't want to see. Here we go. What is this? Oh my God, it's a, it's a new helmet. What? Oh, wow. What is this? Okay, so, all right, so we have, we have a new helmet. So hang on a second. All right, let's see. A soldier? What? A soldier Santa? Okay, so we've got, we've got a new helmet. We've got a new helmet for figures. Can I grab a figure to do a quick swap? All right, let's see. We got that new helmet and we've got a dog, which which we knew because this was in, this was like a stuffed animal type thing. Um, this was in the photos. And then let's see what else we got. Another helmet. What? And then we got the, we got the rubber ducky. There's the little ducky there that was also in the photos, but we got two. Wow. We got two helmets. So here's the second 
Here's the second. Oh my God. I can't believe this. This is insane. Um, hold on one second. Let me grab another figure. Hang on. Okay, so I grabbed the Red Shield Soldier so we can take a look. I think it's going to match pretty well. It's a little shinier, but there it is on a Red Shield Soldier. That's pretty sick right there. So I wonder if this is a little teaser of some future figure we're going to get. Um, so we got that one there. And then here's a look at the other helmet right here. So we got our, our tin soldiers over here. Um, pretty cool. That's a pretty sweet helmet. Very nice. So we got the... Uh, we got the secret pack. It's very neat with these new head sculpts for Mythic Legions figures. Anyway, repeat, thanks again for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you.